<clears throat> so this is the barn at Hickory Hammock. Here on the post, on the north end of the barn, is a light switch, a timer switch. So you do have lights in the barn. There is 14 stalls. They're all about 10 by 10 each, with a door window, with, with a window that they can stick their head out on each side of the stalls, that one and the other side. And then on the back side of the south end of the barn, there is the manure pit, barn, shelter, I'm not sure what you'd call it. There is water right here in order to water your horses. I believe there's also another water in this little white shack over here. And here is a a mounting station so you can get on your horse which is actually really cool because usually nobody provides something like this over on the other side of the manure pile is your wash bay to wash your horses it's a cement pad with a water the wash bay has a cement pad with water outlet to bath your horse So you can tie up your horse here and give your horse a bath. Not far from the manure station and the horse bath is an outdoor shower. It is cold water only. It's actually kind of cool. I'll go take a look at that. Come on, Libby. So if you're a real brave sort, I guess you could take a shower out. Outside, outside. <laughs> Not sure you'd want to do that naked. And then you can go in here and there's a big shower, outdoor shower in here. It's got some hooks on the back to hang your stuff. It's got a bench. On the north side of the barn, there is this big light post. It does shine light all night long um, to keep things lit up around here at night. I also notice that on the back side of the shower, there is gopher tortoise holes. I did see a turtle the other day. I'm not sure he's out again here today, but we go see. Come on, Libby. No, it doesn't look like he's out today. This is one of his holes, right there. There's another one over there where we seen him the other day. Another one over here is a hole. There's a turtle. He's not out today. No turtle. But we did get him the other day, so. Yeah. Going for a walk and we see this huge, huge turtle. We're gonna get a little close to it and see if we can get a picture of it. He out getting a suntan. Could be laying eggs. No, oh, he's going into his hole. Must have a hole there. Hang on, stay. He's going to go in his hole. That's a huge turtle. So we're here at Hickory Hammock this week and we decided to make a outdoor pen for the horses. 
because there's no one else here with horses, so we thought, well, might as well use the space. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Jay. <laughs> so we might as well use the space for the horses to get out and roll and eat a bit of grass, I guess. So, but this is the tree. Isn't it a beautiful tree? All the yeah. moss on it. So we're saddled up today. Gonna go for our ride here at Hickory Hammock. Trail's just up here. Meanwhile, I got sweat pouring down my face. Okay, we're live. <laughs> well, we're not live. <laughs> I feel we're good living. Yeah, yeah, we're living. So we're out trail riding at Hickory Hammock, and we have some friends with us that met us at Dupuis, and they thought they'd come and join us. And they're one of our followers. Yeah. There's Cindy and Sue in the back. Hi, hi. So they joined us to come riding with us and spend a weekend with us. Yeah, maybe later you...
buzzards in the tree. This is their home. Wow. We're being harassed by the uh, the park host. The park host. Yeah. Uh, the park host kind of wanted us. And as you see, the enforcements are here. Uh, he's been causing a lot of problems. Uh, when you come to Hickory Hammock, um, they kind of prefer you. Uh, the host here, he kind of runs the campsite like it's a campground. It's, uh, it's classified as a, an equestrian campsite. And the host prefers you to put your horses in the barn and leave them in the barn. Now, we also have fencing that we've required by the people that we got the permit. They're saying that it's okay. We have fencing so the horses can get out and stretch and do their thing. Um, but as far as the park host, he prefers us to keep our horses in this barn, which uh, I think we showed some previous videos of this barn. But in reality, I'll show you honeys. This is how much room honey has in her stall. So, basically, it's not enough room for, like, it's good for her to keep them indoors overnight. What upset me when we first came is when the lady walked up to me and wanted my permit. So we went through the permit on her phone, she found it, and then she turns around and she takes pictures of my horses, and I'm thinking, why are you taking pictures of my horses? And then she walks away from me. And so I followed her and I said, excuse me, where can I find a wheelbarrow? We didn't find a wheelbarrow to clean our stalls. And she acted like she didn't even know what a wheelbarrow was. So she says, well, I don't know. There's gotta be one here somewhere, I guess. If there's not, I don't know. And I'm thinking, you've been here since April. You don't even know what a wheelbarrow is. <laughs> so yeah. well, she doesn't not, come they're... out very often. She only comes out on a rampage when you first get here and wants to check all your information out. So other than that, she usually sticks in her own little motorhome, but I mean, if you don't go to her when you get here, she's knocking on your door. And we've we've also heard that from other campers, just regular campers, that she's not a very nice person. No, she's and, not. Uh, and I mean, one lady that was here beside us, she took over her actual permit paper and showed it to her and she says well i don't recognize that name and it's like like this is a permit recognizing showing. somebody's name it's showing their permit so i mean why does she have to recognize your name does she study everybody's name before they come in like i don't know she's just she's really she's really rude actually so i don't know that i mean we've heard that from every single camper that's been here and left uh, they all had the same opinions. Very nasty, very ignorant. Hopefully Forestry. these people are banned to come back here because they definitely can't run a campsite, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I've seen campsites and we've been to a lot and uh, never, never this bad of uh, treatment on anybody. Should never be treated like this.